guys, it's Soon. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a pretty cool video. I was actually watching these before I knew I was pregnant because I wanted to know how early I can test, how early I can take a pregnancy test. Today I will do my pregnancy test progression line video and I will show you guys my millions of pregnancy tests that I took. I literally took way too many, but I started pretty early on from a DPO, which means days past ovulation to I think 14 DPO, so I'm gonna show you the tests. Hopefully it will help you guys see what you can be looking for, like even a faint line, like my first line was super faint, like incredibly faint and I still saw it and I was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant, I knew it, I knew it. And I hope it will help you and give you some encouragement if you are thinking that you're pregnant and I really hope you are. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so here are my pregnancy tests. There are a couple from the Dollar Tree or from the 99 cent store that are just not able to be read anymore. That is literally the only one that still looks pretty good to me. Let's go from the beginning. So I started testing from 9DPO and when I took this test, that's my first one, you can barely see the line anymore. Maybe if I go super close, you probably can't even see the line. But that was the first test that I've ever took and it had a super, super faint line, which I think kind of faded already. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, it says pregnant. It has to say pregnant. It has to be pregnant. And then later, right here, I took another one and there you can see a even fainter line. Like you can see the faint line on this one because it was slightly a bit later. Like I think it was a couple hours later. And you can see like, what difference it makes if you wait a couple hours. Like you can actually see the faint line right here. And then the next day, actually the same day at 9 DPO, I bought a couple clear blue tests. It came with, I think three, it was three in a pack. I took a clear blue test at 9 DPO and said not pregnant, but I saw the faint line right here. So I was like, oh, I'll just wait until the next morning because I really feel like I am pregnant. So I took the 10 DPO test, which is not showing up pregnant anymore. I don't know what happened there because the 14 DPO still works. But oh well, I think they said after six or five months it does disappear, which is kind of sad. It's, it's a good thing that I still have these, but it said pregnant in the morning and I was like, oh my God, it literally was like an eight hour difference. And the clear blue test finally picked it up. It said pregnant, I was freaking out. I wanted to wait until actually our anniversary, like Josh's and I's anniversary to tell him, but I told him the same day because I was just way too excited. And I also took this Dollar Tree test where you can see another faint line right there. And they were pretty, pretty accurate. Like those Dollar Tree tests, actually, if you don't have a lot of money or you just don't want to spend a lot of money, those are pretty amazing. You really don't need anything else besides those. They will tell you if you're pregnant. But just having the little sign saying pregnant is really reassuring. I really like the clear blue ones. I kept taking tests just because I just wanted to see the line getting darker. And I've always had a fear of miscarriage, so I wanted to make sure that everything is all right. So at 11 DPO at 8 p.m., that's when I took the next test, I got a really dark line. Like now they're all kind of faded. They were super pink. It was dark and I was like, oh my God, like it has to, like it can't be anything else. It was super pregnant. This next day, 12 DPO, the line is even darker. Like you can see how it's slightly still faint right here. It got super dark right here, 12 DPO. 3 AM, I couldn't sleep obviously when you're pregnant. When you're finding out you're pregnant, you're super excited. Right here, the line is super, super dark. Next day, 13 DPO at 5 PM. I mean, you can't really deny that line anymore. It's just right there. And on at 14 DPO at 8 AM, there was this line right there that was super dark. And then I took another clear blue test, which said pregnant, still says pregnant. My good dear friend, you're still holding up. I just want to tell you guys, like even if your pregnancy test has a faint line, there's a big chance that you are pregnant because as far as I know, and as far as I found out from my friends and the internet and even doctors, it's usually really rare that you get a false positive. It's more common that you get a negative and it's gonna be false. That's what happened with my 9 DPO clear blue test that said not pregnant and I threw it away because it was super sad. The next morning, literally, it was an eight hour difference. This one right here said pregnant and the line was super dark right here and it just kept getting darker. And then of course I went to the doctor and they confirmed that I was pregnant. Even if you're testing on really early, like I was testing per Pretty early like 10 dpo and 9 dpo and i tested so early and i still got a faint line so that is a good sign it's most likely a yes you are pregnant that was the video i hope you guys liked it if you liked it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet i love you guys so much see you in the next video bye